That's going in the bin. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Wait, are you going to put this on there? Well, yeah, I'm going to have to. Hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my wee corner of the World Wide Web. What's there? Definitely not going to sponsor us. We're here. We're back with another Christmassy video. And today's video is going to be a cooking video slash taste test slash review type video. Basically, I'm going to be cooking my good boyfriend here. A three course vegan Christmas dinner. Wait, that's me? Yes, that's you. Oh. <laughs> Are you excited? I don't think I've ever cooked you a three course meal before. Yeah, you cooked me a meal on my birthday four years ago. Oh yeah. This is the first fully vegan three course meal that I've ever made you. And the first Christmas meal I've ever made you. So basically, Asda have very kindly sent me a bunch of their vegan Christmas range to try out. So that's what I'm going to be using today to cook my three course meals. So thanks very much to Asda. Very cool of them. As you can see, FIFA's on in the background. Are you just going to gulp on <laughs> she is? Yeah, FIFA's on in the background, so you can guess what he's going to be doing while I cook. What are you doing? This video is brought to you by EA Sports. Um, let's go to, let's go to the kitchen. The starter and the main are actually already cooking in the oven right now because it turns out they both take quite a bit of time to cook. So I will flash you back to Katie from half an hour ago. The main course takes a bloody long time to make. Is that leaf supposed to be there? There's the main course. This takes 80 minutes to cook in the oven. So we're gonna do that. Cool. Cover a foil tray with foil. Oh, you've got to like remove foil and everything. Christ, it's like an actual turkey. Hello. So we have, we have this. I mentioned this before, but there's a random leaf on it. I'm not very sure if it's supposed to be there, but we're just going to leave it there. I'm going to cover it in foil because that's what the instructions tell us to do. You put it in the oven for 45 minutes with the foil on, then you take the foil off and cook it for a further half hour. We're just going to put it in the oven. Like so. Okay, while we're at it, I've just looked at the starter and the starter also takes quite a while. This takes 45 minutes, so we're gonna bung it in the oven with the turkey that's currently roasting. And you've just gotta stir it halfway through. Seems pretty simple. Oh gosh. Mark is back from the shop. I got a bag, got a bag full of beer. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Right. I, gamble, I didn't get you a bread, but I got you something else. Can you guess where it is? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, cabbage to start with. That looks Mark so got me this. Mm -hmm. right, kind of thing. Maybe we got lost in translation. Yeah. I'm gonna bung that in the oven. Also, the dessert. The dessert is defrosting. Because that apparently takes three hours to defrost. Lots of time needed. Um, and I'm very unprepared. Yeah, the starter sounds very interesting. I don't even, I still don't even really know what it is. I'm about 98% sure that Mark is going to despise it. So we're off to a good start. Red cabbage and apple in a spiced wine sauce. Sounds very exotic. While the starter and our vegan turkey is cooking, we're gonna prep some of the other stuff for the mains. We have some potatoes and some tender tender stem broccoli tips, which I've never cooked with before. Sounds very fancy dancy. So I think I'm going to make mashed potatoes as the side. So I was gonna make roast potatoes, but that just sounds like too much effort. So, we're gonna go with mashed potatoes. It's time to give the starter a stir. That's its third. Back into the oven for 20 minutes. I have peeled six potatoes, which I think should be enough. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for out of everything that we've got. I think this is definitely the thing that Mark's gonna like the most. I am going to chop these up. We're gonna boil them. Oh, there's already a potato on the ground. Oh, also we need to swalt. Yeah, we're gonna leave them to boil. The starter is almost ready. We are pouring ourselves some gin and tonic because cooking is stressful. Cheers. It is time to take the foil off of the main course turkey and also take out the starter. Starter 
is served for the turkey. The one thing I'm hoping is that the vegan turkey thing is succulent because I had like a vegan turkey log thing last year from Aldi and it was very dry. Although that could have been my fault because I did uh, overcook it a bit. Anyway, this turkey log thing goes back in for half an hour. I'm gonna put that back in while we try the starter. Here is the Starter. Is this this cabbage thing? Oh, so not only is it disgusting, you've also burnt it. Why? I haven't burnt it. I followed the instructions. Why have you given me a spoon like I'm going to be <laughs> shoveling this into my mouth? I will not be shoveling this into right, my mouth. Right, so my thought process was I could have put it into two little bowls and been cute, right? But I didn't want to but Instead, we are sitting on the floor <laughs> eating it out of a trough like a pair of pigs. <laughs> I didn't want to create more dishes. <laughs> Who said romance is dead, eh? So what is this? Red cabbage and apple in a spiced wine sauce. I'm gonna go on with an open mind now. It might not be bad. Crunchy red cabbage with apples and dried cranberries all in a spiced red wine sauce. Oh my god, it's got cranberries. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. See, if it didn't have apples and it didn't have cranberries, it would maybe be alright. But... Also, I don't know if you're supposed to like have this with something. I don't know if you're supposed to like eat this out of not a trough. <laughs> it's it smells very spicy. I can't smell it. I don't even It kind of tastes like apple skins. <laughs> I just, as I've said, for all those viewers out there that are avid followers of the series, I just don't like sweet things in savoury meals. It's not great, is it? Are you supposed to like have it on bread or something? Like on the front it just shows it in a bowl. So we are trying our best to re recreate that. All that's missing from the picture is two people sitting on the floor in a flat. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Wait, are you gonna put this on there? Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, Asda, <laughs> watch out. I specifically said vegan friendly things only. And the very first thing we're trying has buttermilk in it. Has milk made from butter. Which is great. I mean, I don't think we're gonna eat much more of this anyway because it, it's it's a solid 2 out of 10 from me. That's a bit poor, actually. Kay's been vegan for <laughs> almost five years. She's never broke it once. <laughs> Right, okay, well, you know, it was a solid 2 out of 10. And That's going in the bin. It wasn't vegan, so now it's a solid minus 2 out of 10. What would you rate it? I'm not even going to do it the digging the table rating it. I'm not okay. wasting any more breath on it. Scene. Action. Closed. Done. For my vegan followers, it's not vegan. So don't eat it. Um, don't put it in your Asda, mouth. thanks for sending me a note. Reviews off to a great start, Asda. On to the main. So we have um, quickly checked the other things on the menu and both of them say vegan on them and um, I'm assuming the potatoes and the broccoli are vegan. After that, um, the baco, we're back in the kitchen cooking. Everything else in this video is 100% definitely vegan. I'm sorry about that, I should have checked that earlier. I just assumed that Asda would not send me something non-vegan. We're gonna go on to the broccoli now. It says to boil it or steam it, but I'm gonna assume that frying in butter will be fine. It's vegan butter. The good stuff. Butter. And garlic. Now we're just gonna like fry them for, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. And the potatoes are still boiling. In the vegan turkey joint thing that we got, they gave us this measly little pack of gravy. Somehow I think me and Mark are gonna end up needing more because we like gravy, but I'll make this anyway. Wow, doesn't that frozen gravy look so appealing? We're now going to drain our potatoes. This is quite stressful. Oh my goodness. Potatoes drained. Now we're gonna put the potatoes back into the pan to mash them. Back into the bowl. I am mashing. We're gonna add butter, soy milk. That's the gravy ready. Yeah, and garlic, maybe salt, pepper. You know, things that you put in mashed potatoes. A bit of, a bit of butter. We might as well finish. The, oh, sorry, the soy milk's right in front of the bloody camera. A bit of butter, and you know the butter's almost finished. So we might as well use it all. Pepper would be good. Oh, turkey's ready. Oh my goodness, how do people do this? I'm only cooking for two people here. Turkey's out. Looks interesting. Oh yeah, sweating. Right, where was I? Did I put the pepper in? Should I put some herbs in it? I don't know, basil. No mash. Mash your mash. It's all cooked now. We have mashed potato, which I'm kind of sad we ran out of butter because I feel like it could use with more butter. Tender stem broccoli and our turkey joint. What do you think of the turkey joint? Looks like a pork loin. <laughs> It just looks intriguing, doesn't it? Is it time to remove this suspicious looking leaf? I think it is. 
It's like straight up. I thought there would be like a stuffing thing in the middle. It's just straight up meat in it. Let's plate it up. Mark's gonna plate it up and go to me. I learned this from when I was in a Michelin star restaurant. Yes, that one time. One, oh my god. <laughs> Gosh. I would make a quenelle with the mash, but I do not have enough spoons. I don't know what a quenelle is. You know what? That actually looks good. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually Michelin trained. Wow. I'm impressed. Dinner is served. It actually looks, actually looks pretty good. Going in. This looks disgusting. It's pretty gross. Don't want to impact your judgments, so I'll let you. What's your thoughts? I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, it kind of has a turkey flavour. It's like a big sausage that kind of tastes like stuffing. I like the texture of it. From like a non vegan perspective, it's like a poor quality meat. I'm not necessarily no, saying that's good. a bad thing. It's good with the mash. The broccoli is you broccoli. You try the gravy a wee bit more. It's actually like stuffing, but with a wee bit more texture about it. The texture of it's really good. It it's a good meat imitation. Mm -hmm. I would say that's not too bad. Not too bad. What would you rate it out of 10? Are we talking about me genuinely rating it? If I would rate it genuinely, I would say... Mm. If I was rating it as a food experience for a non-meat eater, for a meat eater, sorry, I would say it's a 6.5 out of 10, right? Nah, a 6 out of 10. Okay. But that's actually quite good, to be honest with you. It's a solid 2 one. If I was rating this as all, out of most of the vegan things I've tried, if I could only eat vegan stuff, that's an 8.5, to be honest with you. If that's really? vegan, vegan, yeah. Wow. Like, it's got a flavour, it's got a texture that's not awful. Yeah, I quite like it. It's obviously soy or whatever, but it's like leaning on the side of almost meaty. It's a vegan joint made with soya, herbs and spices with a sachet of white wine gravy. It's quite nice when you get like a crusty outer bit with some pepper and herbs and stuff. That was alright. That went a lot more successfully than the starter. If and I it went, was vegan. If I went to a restaurant and got a vegan Christmas dinner and paid an uh, alright pub or whatever, alright restaurant, paid 12, 15 quid for this, I wouldn't be that disgusted. I think I'd give it like a 7.5 or an 8. My only thing is I wish I had a gravy, but that's okay. So that was the main. Now for dessert, which is arguably the most exciting part. This is Mark's priority. Oh my god, what a mess. Mark says he has a point to I'm add. I'm playing FIFA, but I do have a point to add. I would say, to be honest though, if you're gonna have a vegan meal on Christmas, instead of having a Christmas turkey vegan meal, you're probably better off just having a meal that is naturally vegan and not trying to imitate anything else. Like okay. a mushroom something earlier. Yeah. I'm a big fan of a mushroom wellington. Although that's kind of imitating a beef wellington, but I feel like it's- No, nice. that's different. That's, you know what I mean? It's its own thing. Try a wee bit too hard to be done. Are you gonna oh! finish that mash there? Yes, I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> this has been defrosting for I think about three hours. That is the only thing that is required to do with this dessert, which is the best kind of dessert in my opinion. Ooh, it's got like a hole at the bottom and it pops, pops out. Wow, that's the easiest thing ever. That's quite handy, to be honest with you. Mm, that actually looks quite tasty. Give you that. There's a little slice on my special plate. So what is this? Creature. A vegan chocolate tort. This is right up my alley with this. Dark chocolate ganache with a digestive biscuit crumb base and a cocoa dusting. So I would eat this normally. I imagine this is going to oh, be Oh, it's just good. crumbled apart. It's crumbly. Okay, that's the lack of butter, it would seem. Okay, the ganache is sublime. The biscuit base is sublime. I don't know why the cup is this called this? vegan? Yeah. Oh, this is good. Don't worry, this one is actually vegan. It's just made with soy and stuff. Pretty much all vegan things are just made with soy. <laughs> That's good, although I don't, I don't know, I don't really like the cocoa. Basically, what they've done is they've taken the milk and replaced it with aquafab. <laughs> that is really good. Mm -hmm. See, probably five, ten years ago I would have hated this, but the bitterness of the dark chocolate is absolutely class. Cuts through the sweetness. I'd give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. Oh, I'd give this an 8.5. This would be a non-vegan 8.5. Vegan dessert, this would be a 10 out of 10. Because you're not going to get better than that. Mm -hmm. No, 9.5. Crumbles apart too easily, but it's really good. Whoa, you gobbled yours up quickly. Yeah, it's really good. If like they were smart, they wouldn't call that a vegan, they'd just call that a chocolate tart. Because all the non-vegans will just look at this and be like, oh, it's vegan, it's crap, I'm not going to pick it up. Yeah. She just called that chocolate tour. Yeah, they've got the little vegan sign. So, uh, but yeah, so I would say that that three course vegan Christmas dinner was a disaster. Know, it was two thirds of us. What did you say? The starter. Not only was it not vegan, it was also, it was also disgusting. Meh. Well, you know what? People with maybe a finer palate would maybe enjoy that. <laughs> or not a finer palate, but a more. Do you know how refined my palate is? A more is? exotic. 
I like fruity, savoury food palette. Freaks, basically, is what <laughs> she's trying are. to dance around the back. That's pretty much the video. Don't forget to drop the video a like. Subscribe comments below. if you're new around here. Comment below if you want to see more videos with Mark in it. Follow us on Patreon. We don't have Patreon. Maybe we should have Patreon. Comment below if we should have Patreon. But as always, it's been an absolute pleasure, and we'll see you in the next one.